Okay, so obviously the first question, why the shift towards uh, tablet, uh, tablet gaming? Well, it's, it's more of an including tablet gamers into sort of the Skylanders family. Um, you know, our real desire is to make sure that any Skylanders fan or anyone who wants to find Skylanders can, can get it on the, the console or the device they're most comfortable with. And of course, over the past few years, tablets have become very, very common in homes. And for many kids, it's the only game device they've used. And in the past, you know, we've, we've had it available on consoles, so if they were to get a console in the home, then they could play it. But for a lot of people, they don't want to do that. They want to stick with their tablet. So we decided to do whatever was necessary to bring the full console game experience to their tablet. That involved creating a lot of things that have never been done before. Um, tell me about those things. Sure. <laughs> well, um, first off, uh, we have created not only this, this is the Captanium portal of power here, this is a Bluetooth low energy wireless device. Incorporated into it is this subtle engineering feature that holds the, uh, the tablet, it holds anything from a, you know, an iPad, Retina Mini, all the way up to one of the large Samsung tablets. Uh, because this same portal and controller support iPad, iOS devices, uh, the Android tablets, as well as the Amazon Fire OS tablets. And then this controller comes with it. Uh, now, you buy this as a starter kit, just like any other console, like the 360 or the PS4. What's different is we know that tablet players don't have controllers, so we've included one in it. And this is a real serious controller. It's got dual sticks, it's got all the face buttons, it's got four shoulder buttons, it's solid. The only difference is it's slightly smaller because our fans, they tend to have slightly smaller hands than adults. So then once you've got this, you have a complete setup to play a console game and then that just required putting the complete full game onto the tablet. Now, Toys for Bob, that's, that's my studio, we uh, invented Toys to Life genre by creating Skylanders and then Skylanders Trap Team this year is our game. Vicarious Visions, which is a sister studio uh, who made Swap Force last year, they invented this hardware and they brought the full game experience to Tablet. So it's one big collaborative group. Um, can, the, can the controller be used for other games uh, except Skylanders? You know, right now it's limited to Skylanders and there's some good reasons for that. One of them is we wanted this controller and this portal to work across all three classes of devices. And in order to do that, we needed to build um, essentially awareness of the specific controller directly into the software. Um, and however, that said, we do support third-party controllers, um, you know, the, the iOS MFI controllers, uh, the gamepad controllers on Android. And, and what that means is you can play two-player co-op. Um, I'm actually going to load up a different level here for just a second. Uh, you can play two-player co-op with two controllers, uh, or you can play single-player with a controller, or we actually have on-screen controls, because we know some people, uh, you know, they're really used to the controls from their iPad or their Android tablet, and, you know, they haven't grown up with a, a controller the way I have. <laughs> and so we allow people to play the way they want. Okay. Um, uh, what, what was the, the hardest part um, uh, of uh, taking the game from the consoles and bringing it to the tablets? Well, I mean, I think creating this hardware was, was probably technically the most difficult because, you know, at building a, a controller, as, as we've seen with the game systems from console developers, it's, some controllers are good and some are not so good, and we're fortunate that part of Activision is a company called Red Octane, and they made all of the Guitar Hero peripherals. So we had a company with a lot of expertise in manufacturing and in electronics to help us so that the first generation of the portal and the controller are, are really good. But there was also simply the, the conceptual leap to say, I know that there are tens of thousands of apps that function this way, and we're going to do it differently. <laughs> we're going to bring, we're going to treat this as the display of a new console, and we're going to give the full game, and we're going to give you a controller. And that was so different that we really had to show, 
you know, everyone, well, this is what it feels like to play this way. And then, as usual, once you actually show people something, like, oh, of course, that's, that's the obvious thing to do. Um, but we really did need to have the controller, the portal, and the, the full screen rendering of, of every visual effect that you could find on the 360 is represented here. And uh, so, as I attempt to run around and play upside down and backwards, you, know, you can see this guy's got all kinds of cool powers that are identical to what he has in the console experience. Okay, uh, tell me how many new characters um, you've brought to the collection with <laughs> Trap Team. More than you would believe. So, first off, there's 175 Skylanders from the previous games. They all work perfectly. You know, you can bring your Spyro that you played in Skylanders, Spyro's Adventure, and then Giants in Swap Wars. He can be 20th level, any of the hats he's ever had, and he'll work perfectly in this game. Then we're adding 50 new Skylanders. That includes the Trap Masters, that are these awesome big guys with the Traptanian crystal weapons. Uh, new core Skylanders like Chopper, who uh, has a lot of my favorite features. He's a miniature Tyrannosaurus Rex with robot legs, a helicopter, and rocket launchers. And then we have these cool, cute minis. Um, so we're bringing these really small Skylanders. And before, these were available as special editions, and they would just sort of follow you around. And, and our fans told us they wanted them to be full Skylanders. So these are fully playable, fully upgradable Skylanders now. They're just the cutest in the world. And also, they're really convenient for this portable platform because you can bring a lot of Skylanders in a very small space. Then, of course, we also have the Crystal and Trap. So, 175 old characters, 50 new Skylanders, and then more than 40 villains that you trap inside these crystals. And do the math. I'm not sure if it's a world's record for playable characters in a single game, but if not, it's close. Okay, so um, the starter pack, it has uh, two of these traps and two characters. That's right, it's got Snapshot uh, and Food Fight. Uh, it also has uh, a Water Trap and a Life Trap. It comes with the Portal, the controller, and then you go to uh, whatever app store, you know, whether it's the Amazon or the, um, you know, uh, the Play experience for Android or uh, Google Play or the App Store for iOS. It's a free download, um, and you can grab it there. And if you have the portal, uh, the game will begin streaming in. Actually, as you're beyond the initial download, which is a gigabyte, it streams in the game as you're playing, and you can also download it even if you haven't got the portal in the toys, if you just want to test the game. Uh, we have an introductory experience, part of that first level. You'll play with the instant versions of the characters. Uh, they're built in, so there's two characters built in. So you can try playing the Skylanders, switching, trapping, and if you like it, you can go out and get the, the starter pack and then just turn on the portal and the controller and keep um, playing. I asked about the, the starter pack because I was wondering, if I get the starter pack and none of uh, the other toys that are on the market, could I finish the game with just two characters and the two traps? Absolutely. Yeah? Yeah. It's a, it's a complete experience with the starter pack. Okay. That's nice. Um, so now the question is, how does a, a, a games company become a toy company because you have like 225 uh, toys right now not including your traps that's a good question you know toys for bob this is our 25th year as a game developer and skylanders the first one was the first time we ever made toys and really it's a combination of things we had grown large enough to have talented people in electronics and in, in modeling um, both digitally and in the real world, with you know, sculpting with hands. But also, we've been thinking about this for years. You know, we, we love toys. I actually was a hobbyist toy maker. I make rubber monsters. And um, so we love toys, and we kept saying, how can we take this affection that we have for physical objects and combine it with the power of you know, video game characters? Because there's no denying that video games are super compelling. And finally it was finding the sort of magical wireless electronics so that we could detect the presence of the creature and then constantly save into the toy, you know, the treasure and the experience and the customizations that you give me. So then we had to build a prototype and um, our artists 
you know, sculpted out of clay the toys. And then uh, we created our own sort of miniature factory for building the toys with plastic, liquid plastic. And then we, sh we shifted to 3D printers to, to build all of our prototypes. And so now we use MakerBots uh, to uh, create all of our prototypes. Um, our final prototypes, we use a higher-end 3D printer. And we do it all in-house. And, you know, it's, it's just the imagination and the talent of our artists and our character designers. And yeah, it's, you know, you keep thinking, can we possibly come up with more characters? And then, you know, one of the artists will show you someone, someone like, oh, okay, he's an artichoke guy with a tomato gun. And so I, I don't think we've run out of ideas yet. And, you know, I, we've got stacks of them back home. So we're looking forward, you know, to making sure the pants always have somebody new.